Hey YouTube, how you doing? Destroyer here, playing a little LFEF with a couple people from my fans list. One, Fernando Rodriguez, and not for life as you all know out there winning the award. So I'm going to make this episode 26 of the How to Play series, and we are going to be featuring Lu Haran, Lieutenant Haran, or better known as Paladin. And as you all can see, I got his limited time skin. And we're gonna get in on this. Okay, I love his rush and how it is green. So, everybody out there, we're gonna get in and do some damage. Now, the cool thing about Paladin is that he is a, even though he's in the, the fighter class, I mean, in the guardian class, he is one heck of a good fighter. And that's what is awesome about him let's go ahead and switch this back so that is what is awesome about him the most because if built you know in the right way he is one of the best fighters I've ever seen and that's the way we're gonna build him if y'all don't know how to build him please check out my end game build um, it is under my playlist you know the in end game playlist in game builds so the first skill I typically always get with Paladin is the first skill, like I said, uh, and I didn't mean to do that, but anyways. It's called Rush, and it does 100 damage plus a red number. Now that red number will increase when I get more damage, so such as a Face Breaker, Iron Claymore, uh, things like these, these are very beneficial. So we're just going to try to come in here and get some last hits. And maybe, uh, uh, maybe we could get a kill on somebody, but not at the moment. So we're going to just push this girl back. A little bit of kiting. Oh, wow. She fireballed me. It's way too early for a fireball. I'm still level one. So anyways, that rush. Also, when I rush somebody, if you look, it reduces their physical defense by 10 for five seconds very very beneficial for me to uh, get that oh throw the dice throw the dice oh baby nice good job gambler there really didn't need the blink but it's okay so I'm gonna come in back on this guy now I did get my second skill which is called the crippling blow now the crippling blow what's cool about it is it does AOE damage whoever I pound and also it slows them for two seconds so I'm gonna go ahead and pound on this guy rush through him and we're gonna get the kill here and then we're just gonna keep hammering on this horse if we can and I'm gonna back Ooh, baby sign seal delivered I'm yours. so I could get the kill on this horse if I can rush into him and get the pound, it will be very beneficial. Good thing I just saw him use his heal, so... Kinda worried about him finding me here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get out. Go, 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 go. Yes! <laughs> just in the nick of time. I'm gonna go ahead and buy some boots. Keep checking back and forth. The oh, my buddy, I thought, uh, I thought that guy died there, unfortunately. Fortunately, he didn't, so. We got Gambler. No! Fortnite on Gamby. Come on, baby. Stay alive. Oh, just barely. Okay, so here's Arya. I'm going to cross over because I want to kill this girl bad. And I'm going to rush in and pound. Rush! Pound! Boom! And as you saw when I did that crippling blow. Whoops, I didn't mean to buy that. But when I did the crippling blow, that 30% slow allowed me to keep her in close to me. And, and that's what really benefited. That's what really benefited for me to get that kill. So this, this 12 uh, B is not going to really be able to contest. So I'm just going to come up and just keep tightening away. to show my presence all 
All right, I still got a blink here. She's not gonna get the stun. Ooh, I'm gonna turn back. Oh man, it was a chameleon and he wasn't ready. So as you see, I just got my third skill. We'll talk about this real quick. It's called Paladin Formation and what this does is it gives a shield to all my neighboring allies within five meters. Now the shield, as you can see, does a hundred plus two and it, it, the shield, you know, reduces incoming damage, which is awesome. So we're going to do, uh, the duration is 10 seconds and I'll show you how many videos. Uh, let's see what this guy is saying. Some ganking the... Okay, when new videos, Jess. Uh, every day, buddy. Every day. Every day. Uh, Paladin, how to play. So, let's see. Let's get into... Oh my gosh, I really want this girl, so I'm going to rush in. I'm gonna blink, rush, pound, oh, I'm being greedy. Oh, I didn't get the shield in enough time. Oh, agreed. Oh, okay, so <laughs> since I already got that, Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and buy the Ripper now. And the Ripper is best for Paladin at the moment, so. I'm going to hopefully come in. Molten is chasing heavily on this guy. And they both back, so I'm just going to come give this guy support here. So he's not ready. It looks like uh, we're going to clear these creeps, possibly. Still nobody there. All right. Well, I got my ulti. Now, this is what really makes Paladin awesome. So, uh, as y'all probably hopefully just read, Certainly. that Paladin, what it does is it, is it lasts uh, three seconds right now and will gain more as it levels up, but it gets rid of all negative effects, so such as the slow or Certainly. anything like that. Also, it um, it will give me invulnerability to those skills like the slow and stuff that I was talking about. It'll give me invulnerability. So it's best for mages because most of mages' skills do slows and such like that. And um, it's very beneficial to me, you know, to stop them from, from slowing me so I don't get into the mix too hard and what is this kgax doing is he just gonna sit there and let me attack him boom boom got the slow off on him he blinks oh there he goes i'm gonna keep on him until i get my rush back and of course he's gonna be able to outrun me but i just hoping he makes a mistake oh and he didn't good play by kgax So we're gonna take these creeps here. So skill proficiency, let's talk about that. First, let's talk about the part where we level up. So we wanna level up these first skill rush all the way first. And the reason is for that because it allows me to extend the meter range on the rush. And that's what we wanna do, of course, the most and foremost. After that, we're gonna wanna get our ulti tried to get it all the way and then our second skill the crippling blow because we want to do that extra damage so this kgax is really going in deep i'm gonna come in hopefully behind him or in front of him looks like i'm gonna have to drag my skill boom slow and here we go all right, a bleeding kill, yes. So we got up to three now when I get to eight. I'll have it maxed 
out that first skill that I needed. Oh no, we have a crush on our team. Which was a little bit expected, but looks like Arya's after me, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that stun. Oh wow, I rushed into a wall. We're gonna slow this guy. He's gonna get go ooh. I'm gonna go ahead and put a shield out on me. We're gonna pound this. That guy's gonna use his heal. Oh, and the awesome kill by Lorelai. Good play there. Good job. Okay, after we bought that, we're going to go a little bit extra damage now with Paladin. So how we want to initiate on team fights? Since we're going more of a fighter, we want to kind of stay behind our tanks or another player. That's going to be, you know, our meat wall. And um, we're going to want to stay behind them. And then use our rush to initiate. Use our pound to keep them slowed and close in the place. And after that, ooh, and I accidentally leveled up this skill again. But after that, we're going to want to use our crippling blow, like I said. And then if needed, we will use our unfavoring wealth to get rid of any uh, effects and if our team needs it we'll use our heal but like I said paladin's pretty darn mana heavy so we're gonna kind of get in on this I'm gonna slow this guy we're gonna rush in here and get the kill also don't always another quick tip if you're not needing to as you just saw in this little team fight here and feel free to rewind that is that you don't always have to initiate with with this as you notice I I walked up to the guy and I just started hitting him so and that was very beneficial to me and the reason is for that is because I got I killed him with my rush so looks like gambler was trying to get in there and do some do some more damage but uh, unfortunately he didn't, wasn't able to keep that guy in place don't want him to get in too much trouble gonna go ahead and level this up come on come on come on initiate come on Gamby let's go get the kill there we're gonna straight come in on this guy ooh Kagex coming in from behind We're gonna rush in here, do the pound. I'm gonna back up a little bit. Ooh, wait, I got a port in. So I'm gonna come in here. Oh no, he got me. I took too many tower hits. So presumably I was the meat wall in that sector. I definitely need some attack speed now, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, buy some wings and after this we might finish the bow or go straight into building um, building some boots because I definitely need some my greed overcame me again So it looks like a good push on our bottom tower by this guy. So hopefully I can keep that creep alive. No! <laughs> ah, I wasn't able to. So hopefully we can cross and I can uh, solo take this dragon, but I uh, want that guy there just in case. We get a little bit of contest here. There we go. I got that 50% attack buff. Which was really needed. Come on, get the slow. Get the slow. Yes. 
beautiful kill by that guy. Also, this guy's running. I'm gonna drag this skill pound. I got the silence. Boom, boom. Oh my gosh, you're dead. Oh, yes. Go ahead and put this out because just to protect my guys just a little bit. Oh no, don't surrender! Certainly. Well guys, a quick recap and then we'll go over, you know, a uh, little item recap. So guys, just remember with Paladin, that first skill, the rush, don't just use it as an initiation. Kinda think of it as also a way to get away. And if you're chasing somebody, you drag that rush to get in front of them. This will also slow them a little and give you an extra hit or two. Also, uh, use it with the crippling blow. Very good combination of skills. Um, and don't forget about the third skill. Use it, use it for your allies. That's what it's there for. It's there to assist. So let's do a quick item recap and see how we do. We're gonna pop in here, do a good game. And not bad. Good job by our Lorelei. Controlling mid very well. Yes, nice, nice, nice. So, guys, thanks for watching as always. And I hope this helped you understand Paladin a little bit better. I um, Tell me what y'all think and write down in the comments. Thank you. If you have any good experiences with Paladin... Please write down a tip for somebody else to see. It will just benefit the rest of the community. So guys, I will see you out there. And destroy her out.